Hello guys, it's Irina here from Run Your Craft Academy and welcome to a new video. Blender version 3.0 just came out with a bunch of new amazing features. So you can expect from us to be working in Blender version 3.0 in the next video. And in this video we are going to pay our respects to Blender version 2.x by creating Rick Sanchez, the most famous and most recognizable character from the TV series Rick and Morty. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump! into the video. Before I start modeling a character, I will import reference images and then we will be ready to start. We will use basic meshes and modifiers for character modeling. We will add a head and from the top to the bottom we will make a block out of the body. First we will model the belt and the legs, from that on we will also model the feet. When we are done with the lower limbs, we will move on to the upper limbs, we will first model the hands and fingers. After we model the hands, we will focus on the white rope that Rick has, we will model it using the torso that we added previously. The next step is the head and the head features. Firstly, we will model the ears using simple modeling with subdivision surface modifier applied. Next, we will model the eye sockets and the nose. Once we modeled out the nose, we will add a new UV sphere and from that we will model the eyes of the character. After we added the eyes, we will focus on the mouth area and we will try to model it similar to the reference image. When we finish the lips, we will give him some personality with his famous unibrow. Because he has a lot of wrinkles and eye bags, we wanted to enhance them, so here we have modeled them out as well. For the hair, we added a circle and extruded it a couple of times to make it puffier. And also we added the lines to follow the reference image. Then part by part we model his porcupine-like hair. When I finished modeling the hair, the next step was to create his signature vomit that is coming from his mouth to his chin. And finally, we will be ready for the materials. We are going to use basic materials for the character and with that, we finished character creation. If you want to learn how to model and rig Morty step by step along with 80 other courses about Blender, check out our online academy rendercraft.com. You can get a monthly subscription plan or you can get courses individually. Also, there is a 30% discount that you can check down below. So let's continue on with the video. For the rigging, we are going to use Blender's built-in add-on called Rigify, which makes the process of rigging painless and much easier. I will use a meta rig for the character's rigging because it has all the bones that we need and it's easier to add it than to add the bones manually. When meta rig is added, we will go to edit mode from which we will assemble the bones to their correct position, in this case, them accompanying the character. The next step is to generate the rig so that it's going to be easier for us to pose the character later on. Once we generated a rig, we will then move some parts of the body to see if everything's okay. Then we can hop on to posing the character. I found the image of Rick and Morty on Google, how they are holding mugshot plates and I wanted to recreate that with Rick. I pose the hands by moving a couple of bones and 
And later on, I added a cube which I beveled and traced the image texture using UV unwrapping. Once I had the mugshot plate, I rearranged the finger so that his grip on the plate is more real. And by that, I was done with the character. It was a beautiful journey from Blender version 2.8 to today 3.0. A lot has changed in terms of interface, add-ons, new ways to model and sculpt, etc. We will miss the era between these two, but we will remember it as a turning point in something new and innovative. Also, I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to the Blender Foundation and the people that are standing behind it. Thank you guys! Until the next video, bye!